Okay, hi there. Uh, our fourth year design project is lithium ion battery recycling. In recent years, electric vehicles have skyrocketed in demand. By the year 2025, there should be 10.8 million EVs sold, compared to about 1.5 million this year. And with all of these electric vehicles are battery packs, which contain thousands of thousands of lithium ion batteries. These batteries pose an enormous environmental hazard if they are left unrecycled. Uh, in addition, by not recycling the metals present in a lithium ion battery, you drive up the cost of battery manufacturing. For example, cobalt has increased in price from the beginning of 2017 to the end of 2018 from about $41,000 to $107,000 per metric ton. Cobalt is an important metal in lithium ion batteries, but it isn't the only material that needs to be recovered. Uh, there is also electrolyte in batteries which pose an environmental risk. Uh, this can evaporate in a cell left unattended and form HF gas with moisture in the air. Uh, what we have here is a lab scale process to recycle a lithium ion battery and all of its components. Um, current industrial techniques involve a process known as pyrometallurgy and they take a battery and put it in a high temperature oven and melt all of the metals into a slag and burn off any carbon that's in the cell as CO2 or HF gas from the electrolyte, which is very harmful. And further, that slag, they only recover a few of those materials from, from it, such as cobalt. Um, with our process, we're able to separate our battery into all of its constituent parts, cathode, anode, separator, electrolyte, and casing, and then run recycling techniques on each of them. Uh, in this project, we have specifically focused on the cathode material because it involves cobalt and some other metals which are of particular interest. But with this procedure, you should retain the aluminum from a cell, the steel casing, the graphitic anode, and the electrolyte so as to pose less of an environmental risk. So we first take our battery, cut open the top, centrifuge it for two hours to obtain all the electrolyte and then we take apart the battery safely without risk of short-circuiting it. Then we're able to scrape off the cathode material from a degraded lithium-ion battery where the cathode has delaminated significantly from the aluminum it sits on. And we can run a co-precipitation technique which requires dissolving the material in an acid then titrating with a base at a pH where the constituent metal hydroxides that go into your finished cathode can be obtained. And we have proven environmental and cost benefits to this process over existing ones.